Well, I became a researcher, you know, almost like it, it's like the, the family industry. My, my uh, fa father was a, is a professor of agronomy, and my first summer job was working out in a field on an agricultural uh, experiment station. So in the summer, we would do field plots, and in the winter, uh, do data. And it's some, uh, almost like, you know, a, you know, a butcher's son becoming a butcher. I did not know that the job that I'm currently in, which is growing plants in space, even existed when I started my career path. It was a combination of, of planning uh, for different schools and an education and interest and a circumstance when opportunity presented itself. It was a very conscious decision early in my career that to, to become a mobile uh, researcher. I wanted each of my degrees to be from a different university, so I, I, that, that happened. And my first job was at a different institution. So subsequent to that, the mobility has been a combination of conscious desire to move to a different place, as well as the opportunities that are presented at that location. The mobility has given me possibilities and opportunities to travel to, to places all over the world and understand that there are different solutions to the same problem, as well as the same solution to different problems. Uh, mobility has, goes a two-way street. I get a chance to impart part of my knowledge and I get to get, take knowledge back to whatever project or activity I'm working on. One of the biggest changes I've seen over my career is how much easier it is to be a, a mobile researcher. I, I recall an instance, instance in the 1980s when it would all phone calls had to go through an operator and to receive a fax would take two to three days for a piece of information. In contrast, just last week, I was on a teleconference with people from six countries. We could all see each other and looking at the same piece of information. There's been a, a, a sea change, if you will, in, in our ability to communicate, and that keeps us more connected. As a MOBO researcher, I think my biggest challenge is being reestablished in, in a new community, trying to find an identity in a new place. Where do I fit within the lab? Where do I fit within my work? Where do I fit within the community? Uh, I think that's the biggest challenge personally. Their moving uh, lo locations has its bureaucratic challenges, but the bigger one is just that personal establishment of place. One of the challenges of having a, a relatively mobile career has been the uprooting and moving the family from one location to, to another. When the children were young, it was fun and exciting. It became more difficult as, as school and moving through schools. And now, as at a more advanced stage in the career, the problem's harder on me because I'm separated from my family. For many years, students from, from Ireland were coming to my laboratory at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. I was training them in techniques, and they were coming back to Ireland and applying them. The Marie Curie Fellowships allowed me to actually come, train many students at one time, and, and establish a laboratory as a center of excellence in controlled environments. That, that laboratory has now been recognized, been selected to lead an experiment to the International Space Station. So in, in my view, that's really what these Marie Curie Fellowships were designed to do. They capitalized upon the mobility of the students and of the academic to establish a center of excellence. At my stage of the career, I think I see there were been two major disadvantages to, to the Marie Curie. First is professional, is that my research at Kennedy Space Center has had to go on hold for two years while, while I concentrate on the work in, in Ireland. The second is personal, which is separation from, from family and friends and, and those um, things that have been developed at, at home. That's a, a difficult thing to, to manage, but certainly I think the benefits are, are worthwhile. 
The hosting agreement uh, system in Ireland seemed to work very well for, for me. It made, I experienced no difficulties in, in registering with the proper authorities, uh, getting the appropriate visas, uh, taking care of any of the bureaucratic uh, processes that are necessary to be a mobile researcher. And that, that process seems to work quite well for me. Well, if I had a magic wand on, you know, to take rid of challenges, I, I'm not sure what I would do with it. I think I would give it to somebody and let them figure it out. Because I, as I look back, those, those things that I go through of identifying where I'm at and, and looking at what brand of a detergent to, to use or, or how do you calibrate the word for a pipette are all challenges, but that's what makes it interesting. And that's one of the things that makes me like to do research. I don't know the outcome. I try and find out, and then when it's comfortable, you'd look for other challenges. So I think I let you keep your magic wand.